right, hello, welcome. This is Mr. Talk University Radio. Uh, today, Harrison and I are playing Read or Die, uh, one of the challenge scenarios. And we'll be playing as Daisy and Parallel Daisy. Daisy. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, welcome to everyone that is watching the stream with us, and anyone that's checking out the VOD afterward. Um, so, uh, we haven't done our mulligans yet. Uh, so Harrison is going to be playing uh, as Parallel Daisy, and for the purposes of any rules that interact specifically with Daisy Walker, uh, Harrison is going to be Daisy Walker. So he, he's uh, playing Daisy. the Prime Daisy. Um, and he'll be represented on the board by uh, the actual Daisy token, who seems to have a mustache now. Uh, and uh, I'll be playing uh, regular Daisy uh, in terms of not using the parallel stuff, um, but I am just here uh, in this uh, parallel left where there's two Daisies. So uh, I guess we can briefly mention what our decks are intended to do. Um, so I am I have a combat uh Daisy, which is a uh, an interesting challenge because uh, it's not not necessarily what seekers are good at. They're good at literally everything else. So uh, I'm gonna see how it plays out. I'm, I mostly relying on some spells and some buffs to willpower. Uh, just and I'll we'll see how it goes. Uh, I have 29 XP as we're playing with standalone rules. So uh, I have three weaknesses, one of which is indebted. Uh, so it's like really only having two weaknesses really because uh, this one's already out of the way. Uh, Harrison, you want to briefly talk about your deck? Okay. Uh, <laughs> so this was going to be a really cool geared up uh, deck that ha I mean that uh, hard mold for items, shoppers, uh is a nice tome that uh, that you can pull out that doesn't use hand slots. So we're going to have super synergy uh, and get all these books out in the beginning. Um, but more to come on why that might have been a mistake. Uh, but... Um, what else is in there? So mostly focusing on on clues. Uh, um, we have Jeremiah in there, and one thing that's cool about this deck is that there are only like two odd number cards. So hopefully Jeremiah will will do some work. Um, but I do start with Henry Armitage, who takes up an ally slot though. So there's another might, thing that's might not be long <laughs> for for the board. Um, yeah. Uh, so. Uh, yeah, part of the setup for Read or Die is Harrison had to take all of the tomes out of his deck as they got thrown around the board, placed face down. Um, so uh, <laughs> geared up, his geared up might be a little bit sadder than he was hoping for turn one. Uh, I guess we'll see what we mulligans. Uh, so I guess let me read the uh, story text quick, and then we'll get started. Uh, so, read or die. Uh, you've spent most of your life reading. As a child, it was but a simple interest in harmless stories. Grizzly stories, to be sure, but harmless nonetheless. Your fascination with horror and the macabre earned you the nickname Spooks among your friends and classmates. But as you grew, so too did this fascination, until it bordered on an obsession. Your appetite for horror evolved from mystery and make-believe to something more... something real. When you discovered John Dee's translation of the Necronomicon, you knew you'd finally found the true horror you had been secretly yearning for. If only you'd known what would be in store for you once you, you'd read that dreadful tome, you would have locked it back up in Henry Armitage's restricted collection in the Orne Library and never opened it again. Or so you like to think. But even you cannot doubt the allure of... Oh boy. Uh, Kitab al-Azif, the Book of the Dead. That is why when... <laughs> Dr. Armitage summoned you to the Orn Library. The dread in your bones predicted precisely what had occurred. Oh, I, I don't understand how this could have happened, Dr. Armitage says as he surveys the destruction. The entire restricted collection is in a tattered disarray. The Necronomicon lies open in an, on a nearby table, its metal clasps broken apart. You and your fingers, are, fingers along its leathery, skin-like pages. Your eyes flit along the words in a familiar dance. They walk unseen and foul in lonely places where the words have been spoken and the rites howled through uh, through their uh, <laughs> howled through at their seasons. The wind gibbers with their voices and the earth mutters with their consciousness. Your throat tightens as you realize what must have occurred. Something has been unleashed, and you're only the only one who can figure out how to stop it. Oh. Right. So I think your books have been like thrown around the campus by whatever this this entity is. So, 
So we're using the board setup uses a lot of stuff from the Mistonic University scenario, extracurricular activity. Um, let's look at the agenda quick. A mortal inquiry. Whatever entity has been unleashed from within the Necronomicon it is spreading across campus like a deadly shadow. You must put a stop to it before it grows too powerful to be contained. Uh, oh, Dr. Hemmerwitch does not take up an ally slot. Hey. Uh, and gains. You have two additional hand slots, which can only be used to hold tome assets. Eh? Oh, so we can't get rid of Dr. Henry Armitage. Well, can't no, but I mean, I mean, the only reason to sacrifice him before was because he was taking up the ally <laughs> slot. I mean, now he's not, so now he's very useful. You know, it's going to be a nice sponge for me. What does Jazz Mulligan do? Uh, Jazz Mulligan gains action, move up to to move to a mistonic location up to three locations away. Pretty good. Uh, I don't know where Jazz is. I don't remember. He must be in the encounter <laughs> deck. Oh, no, he's over here. There he is. Oh, okay. Um... All right, speed reading. The way to seal this being away must be recovered in one of the many tomes around campus. Uh, ignore all objectives on locations. Uh, free trigger, if you are a daisy walker, investigators at your location, spend two clues, shuffle one face down player card beneath this location into your deck. Objective, find a way to banish the neighbor of the dead before it is too late. Okay, and, uh, so we that's... have to spend clues to pick up the books. Mm -hmm. And then, wait. Uh, they don't just go into my deck. I can't just pick uh, them up. No, they go directly. In, they, well, they do go into your deck, but that's not really where you wanted them. <laughs> um, so, Neighbor of the Dead, presence oh, yeah. within the Grimoire. Uh, so, this Hunter as Hunter Prey, Daisy, walking, Daisy Walker only. Once again, I think we chose the wrong Daisy Prime, because it would have been better if the Combat Daisy <laughs> was the one that was sprayed on. Did we do the opposite <laughs> for Roland as well? Uh, oh, yeah. well uh forced when the name of the dead would be defeated instead fully heal it exhaust it and move it to the one library action if you're a daisy walker and you control at least four non-weakness tome assets parlay test will 18 this test gets minus two difficulty for each tome asset you control if you succeed advance the act mm, is there any crap that we can do with daisy's mystic or guardian cards i'm trying to think if there's any any things we can do to just like spam that 18 well i should have put some fancy clothes in your deck i guess um yeah i mean you just, i think the idea is you like we run around pick up as many books as you can and then you try to draw them and get them in play so that's like a really easy test and okay. until then and until then we have to avoid you know, it fight the enemy or evade it or whatever so all right um well, yeah uh, all right, so I guess let's do opening hands. So I have one copy of Studious. So I have two. I have to draw six cards. Oh, guess Morgan. you know what's so great about what we're happening? This this is evaded, right? But I can't do anything except for. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> uh, I, D Dane helped you make this deck. I, D I think Dane's played this scenario, hasn't he? Well, geared up. Uh, I think Dane. Geared I think up. Dane trapped you. Did you do something to anchor Dane? Like, <laughs> <laughs> like uh, all right. Well, I guess that means uh, I'll have to come stand over there to help. This enemy has three health, which is always the annoying amount of health. And as Daisy, I have like mostly two damage stuff. Um, I should have put a little bit more evade stuff in here. I played this scenario before, but I completely forgot what was going on with it. So. Uh, all right, so what do I want to mulligan for really badly? Oh, I'm hard mulliganing. I think everything. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna mulligan everything except I'll keep the lexicon. Mm. All right, that's a lot better. What would the last card have been? Oh, all right, great, perfectly played. Except I have no money. Um. All right. Um, Ian Chart. I don't. I never found your bag, but I have. All right. Uh, are we just gonna start? Or yeah. Yeah, I was. I was just flipping all the locations we start at. All right. So you. Uh, you... I'm at the yeah. Orton Library. Right. I I must spend an additional action to investigate. Oof. Uh, victory one. Uh, shroud three, and there are two clues, and the name of the dead is on this location. Presence within the grimoire, and it's evaded. Mm -hmm. so right. Maybe, maybe we want to come back. But uh, what about your location? 
So uh, I'm just at the quad. There's a resign action here, although I think I'm s no, we're not allowed to do that. One second, let me double check. There was a bunch of extra rules about things to ignore. Uh... Oh, it just says ignore the force effects on uh, dormitories and alchemy labs and facility offices. Okay, so I guess we could resign um, from the middle if we wanted to. Oh, we don't need yeah. jazz to yeah. No, it's just so we can't find rice. Okay, I guess that <laughs> we're not looking for rice. Um, but yeah, so we could resign from there, though. Uh, yeah, all right. So do you have any way to get out of that location with your uh, with what assets you drew? Let's show people your I do trick. have, yeah. Um, I do have an Aeon chart, and I can pull it out. And I can move, right? Because I just because it just gets rid of my three fewer yeah, actions. You have three fewer actions, but if you yeah, if you got like a shortcut or a eon shot or something, you could move yourself out of there. Okay, uh, let me do that. Uh, can I go first? Yeah, yeah. All right. So all my uh, items are reduced by one. So this is going to cost me one. That's some boots and eon chart. This is going to cost me one. I gotta pay for it. I have no more items. <clears throat> uh, right, so then I am going to exhaust it and spend a secret. Oh man, the couldn't even use like the hiking boots to sneak out of there somehow because. Uh, <laughs> that's it. All right. Because I, because I need a, you need a location with a clue on it. Darn it. So I'm at All the quad. Right. All right, great. So I don't need to necessarily go fight that thing this turn, which no. seems seems good. Um, so unfortunately, I only have three money, and I didn't get any cards that help me with the money situation. So I didn't really get. I got a tome, but not like the tome I want attached to Abigail. So I don't think I need to get her out yet. Um, oh well, you did get the uh, uh, the. The fighting book, one of one of your fighting books. So. Yeah, I got the Colexicon. I gotta remember how it works. So it lets me draw three cards, and then I can discard those three cards to gain a resource or spend one resource to deal one damage to an enemy. Yeah. So if I had more money, I could I would be able to blow that guy up by just playing one. Oh, cool. Blood right. Uh, I think. All right. So I think I'm gonna play a Colexicon. So I get one of these. And these get shuffled in my deck. And then oh, I think no, I... This... Yeah. What happened? There's, bird... There's birds in this scenario, aren't there? Oh, I don't know what's in this deck. <laughs> uh, I did not look at the... Yeah, there's definitely Whip of Whales. Oh, my God. Uh, well, that's, <laughs> that's, that's fine. Um, yeah, I think I just want to gain money. Um, or should I be drawing... Or I should be drawing cards to... Uh, Try to get the opal or to get uh, old book of lore. Probably, I want to gain one money and I'll draw one card. Okay, all right. Uh, I'm all done. So then, uh, bind your upkeep button if you didn't already, and upkeep. Uh, this guy's gonna unexhaust, and shuffle the encounter deck. All right, and then we get. Yeah, I forgot I had this thingy. So we get one doom. We only have. The threshold is 12 and then uh i don't remember i think you, we said you were your daisy prime so you draw the encounter card first okay i got pushed into the beyond hex choose and shuffle a non-story asset you can oh control into your deck Ooh. and discard the top three cards of your deck uh oh no <laughs> oh god what is this thing? Am I? Do I have hope in evading it? I do. I mean, I can always engage it and deal with it for you, uh, probably. Um, I'm thinking I'm actually gonna get rid of the Eon chart because it already has a wait use wasted, and hopefully I don't run into another one. All right. Uh, one. Oh, well, it gets shuffled into your deck. Oh, okay. Oh, cool. And then and then you discard. 
Oh, Jeremiah. Oof. And a deduction. It's a bummer. <laughs> All right. Um. Hmm. This is in here, huh? Ew, gross. Why is my hand being weird? There it goes. Um. I feel like it's too early to add Doom, so I guess I will take two horror. Oh, do you have that Doom book? I did not put the Doom book in because I thought about it because because you could like yeah it does have a high threshold. I didn't check beforehand, so if I had checked this beforehand, I might have warned you about the uh, tome situation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, because that would have been good to hear because if i could have gotten if i got that out early with like abigail it could have ramped up to like plus three pretty quick and then just uh probably found a way to trash it near the end so all right like override it or necronomicon could i override it all right um begin yeah so if we both move and we don't need to deal with this this turn um yeah do we want to like go up here and like get jazz and grab that tome and then then deal with it and then go explore somewhere else or yeah because if we do grab jazz if we do grab jazz then we could teleport through because otherwise if he's at the quad then he's just gonna trap us right well jazz oh no does it, it doesn't say it doesn't say yeah it just says move to a location up through so it is a, it is directly so so yeah you could use jazz to teleport and avoid the this guy yeah, let me go for wait what's the art on this appears to be two people surrounded by a book is this just a book that's attacking us it's the book of the dead oh. yeah and nobody All listens right. when i warn them about the books <laughs> um, we should just burn the skull i'm gonna maybe i go first because uh, uh sure. just in case something bad happens i, I haven't played that much in a long time um after it's revealed put the set aside alchemy labs into play oh All right. well uh, do we like... not do that yeah, it said to ignore that in instructions. So. When you fail a will test here, take a damage. Okay. There right. are two clues. Um, so, yeah, I will um, second action parlay. My books are five. Let's just pop it. So five versus three. Popping it. Uh, All right. I mean, how scary is this? We have uh, minus, reader dies, skulls minus X. We're we're playing on standard, which I think is a uh, this is like a fairly a, a standard standard distribution. Like I think it's like roughly minus one or min, being at minus two is like seventy five percent ish. I don't actually have the calculator mm. up, but uh, mm. looks like skulls are zeros for you right now, and there's one squid, one minus three, one minus four. So. Actually, I've Actually, I have two actions, so maybe I'll just uh, I'll just regular. Yeah, I'll just regular. Had, looks like there's four tokens out of uh, out of seventeen you fail on right now. So like that, yeah, I would just test it. I wouldn't commit stuff. Yeah, this is how you get the tentacles, though. Oh, we got it. Yeah, zero. All right. Ah. All right. Great. Um, so you cool. take control of him, I believe, right? Yep. Yes. All righty. And he also doesn't take up an ally slot. Great. Hi, friend. Um. Hey. Um, and then I'll just investigate. Ooh, cool. Uh, wait, how do I get the book? Is uh, it... It's, uh, where is it? Back? Yeah, free, free trigger, spend two clues, and it gets shuffled into your deck. All right, um, just so I don't have to revisit here. I'll commit a deduction. Uh, so I'm at five, six to, wow. Two, we're good. And, and that the skull, is skull, which is draw again, or right. So right click to draw again. Yep. All right. Okay. So I get them both, and and then I I'm just going to do I spend those clues? Yeah, I'll just spend them immediately. Doop. Doop. Uh, okay. And then yeah, you get to shuffle that card into your deck. Should I know? Uh, you don't get to look at it. Oh, all these, I mean, yeah, no, just a shuffle into your deck. So, who knows if it's a good one or a bad one? Um, all right, and then that's all your actions. Yeah. Alrighty. Um, 
So this, because this thing is prey daisy walker only, that means he's only hunting you. So I could just stand in the middle, and then if I need to, I could deal with it next turn. Um, well, well, isn't that just a tiebreaker? Like, won't it still? No, it's it's prey. It's only which oh, has okay. the, it's just the sub rule of prey where it ignores people that aren't its prey. Oh, fun. So, so I could just stay here and try to set up. I, I mean, I have a blood right queued up if I need to like kill it real quick. Wait, um, so so your job as the battle person means you have to actually engage it uh, like uh well it's not aloof it it's just it doesn't automatically engage oh you can people just, that aren't you, its prey you could just bop it yeah so i could just attack it if it's not engaged with me but you might like teleport across the map or something with jazz i don't know um yeah so uh i don't know because i think you can get to anywhere with that ability right because everything is within uh, at least three spaces of everywhere else I think. yeah i can get to the facility offices yeah or the dormitories or anywhere on the board basically so um okay so yeah i still don't have a tome which feels pretty bad um but i don't really want to just draw cards if i have nothing to do stuff with so i guess uh i want to play something I'm gonna play the rosary for now and I'll draw a card. Oh, well. Uh, so I've got the Necronomicon. I guess I'll immediately start to use the Necronomicon um, to put it on myself, right? Yeah. Uh, and then I'll gain the money. So, all right. Nothing too exciting for me. All right, so enemy phase, this is gonna move here. And giant swarm of pages flying around, and then upkeep, um, and then uh, doom is going to happen. So a two out of twelve, and then encounter card for Harrison. Eager for death, test two will, uh, and if I fail a will test here, I take a damage. Uh, test two will increases skill for each damage on you if you fail take two horror. Uh, my will is one, so this looks like a pop. All right. So and that's I'm... a curse token, right? Yeah. Oops, that was a blessed token. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so I'm at five to two. Minus two. Okay, we're right. good. Great. Um... Oh, oh wait. <laughs> you need an observer. Is this oh, boy. correct? Is that correct? Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, yep, that's in this supposed to be in here. So, all right, well, I'll figure out how to deal with that. Uh, I guess I should have played a spell. Um, all right, so. Ah, uh, that's mean. Oh, man, that is, that's pretty mean. Very scary. Uh, let's see. I mean, I have I have a pop, so I could evade it with a pop. Um, Blood right doesn't mm -hmm. really Blood doesn't really kill it, so I kind of just want to like get a shriveling or a or is there a flame out and try to kill it with that. Even that maybe, would be bad. Maybe you should go somewhere where you're going to like be able to gear up because I don't have to I don't have to walk to the quad, but you would. So like maybe we can go to the student union or the uh, administration building sometime. Oh, it's on you. Yeah, no, I mean it, it's on me right now. So, um, if you're gonna teleport, then like yeah, this guy will the... this guy will move like one space towards you, and then I'll maybe have to come deal with the next turn. All right, uh, let me go first to see. Yeah. What's going on here? So. Um. Did I put a logical reasoning in this deck? I feel like I didn't. I have, I have one. If you need a uh, horror, yeah, yeah. some at some point I might. I mean, but you also might need it for yourself because of Necronomicon. Yeah. All right, well, I'm gonna do. Oh no, wait, shit. The, ne the Necronomicon is an action, right? All right, so I'm not not gonna do that while I have an enemy engaged with me. Uh. All right, so. I think I want to evade this and move somewhere and then probably deal with it later. 
get a little bit more okay. set up. So yeah. I'm, I'm also going to pop. Um, which only puts me at six versus three. Do I want to commit something else? Eh, not really. Let's see how it goes. Oh, plus one. Oh, complete, completely unnecessary pop. You know, the one, <laughs> the one, one in 17 chance that I got the token I needed. All right, so this guy's evaded. Then I think I will move. So where are you going? Uh, I was going to go to the offices. All right, so I'll move here. And then I will play shriveling, I guess. Yeah. All right. And then I will also do the Necronomicon to get that going. All right. Um, all right. That's, that is my turn. All right. Um, I will use Jazz to go here, first action. Um, the door leading onto the yeah, we don't we ignore that. After it's revealed, search the encounter deck and discard pile for a humanoid enemy and spawn it here. Shuffle the encounter deck. Oh, wait, no, we don't do that. We don't uh, do that. Yeah, it said. Well, no, sorry. It says ignore any force abilities that would put these locations into play. So, this one we do not ignore. I don't believe. Okay. Uh, right. search the encounter deck and discard pile. We haven't run into any humanoids yet so let me see we got thralls we got wizards of yog sothoth probably not that yeah let's pull out a thrall i guess these enemies are mean all right two 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 and it ignores the spawn location right yeah so so it's going to jump on you. Yep. So that was my first action, right? Yeah. Yep, to teleport there. Hmm. Hmm. Well, <laughs> fortunately I can't help you with that at all. I could try to evade it. But I don't know what we do about it afterwards. I could also try to pop it again. I mean, I, next turn I can move over to it and triple it. Um, okay. So I'll evade it, and I'll try to just evade it with my three feet with hiking boots. <sighs> and then I'll pop it if I, if I need to. All right. I mean, actually, I don't even... Let's just see. Ooh, wow. what's this? You may return it to an app set from your discard pile to your hand. I don't uh, know. I don't, I don't think you have any of those. <laughs> but you did evade it, so that's great. Okay. So let me try to investigate, I guess. Unless you... Yeah, I'm not going to go there, because then the, then the book will come jump on me. Yeah, no, just get, get clues. Like, we, we need you to get clues and then, like, draw through your deck and play all your tones. <laughs> um... Oh, look. I mean, I got a. I pulled another. Oh, um, well, once again, it doesn't do anything. <laughs> All right, yeah. that's one. That's our first. Right. No, that's one. our third clue. Yeah, that's it. Um. All right, so then, uh, enemy phase. Nothing. Oh, this is gonna move here. And oh, I guess I was wrong. I guess you can't get from anywhere on the map from anywhere else because you can't get from yeah, the facility true. offices to the dormitories. But basically, anywhere else you could teleport. Um, all right, this is gonna re-engage you, and this is gonna wake up at the beginning of upkeep. So then upkeep, and uh, doom happens, and counter card hey. for Harrison. Guess uh, who did drew? You... Guess who drew cryptic writings on upkeep on both turn? I mean uh... both. Oh, and you had one. Oh. Uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Why don't I just use um, Dr. Armitage to gain three resources, right? Uh, yeah. That works, because that's, that's the same thing. It's a little bit better. Uh, All right. Ah, Ancient Evils. Oh, man, there's Ancient Evils in this. <laughs> I don't I don't have my wards, so. We got to take it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so we're at four now. Yeah. All right. Um, arcane barrier. Oh man. Six. Discard. Discard. 
or just got top five dice. Oh, I guess I don't care about that part as much. All right. Oh, I forgot to flip this location over when I entered it. Um, oh, I should have I should have discarded the top card of my deck when I ended my turn, which would have been this non existence. Very sad. Oh. Um, but then I would have drawn Uncage of Soul instead. Annoyingly, because I after I of course played it finally gave this play a spell. So, oh, all right, is Ancient Evils a treachery? Uh, yeah. Um, can I forewarn that? Is it too late? Uh, yeah, you can forewarn it. Yeah, that's fine. All right, all right. But you drop your clue. Oh darn. But whatever, you and Daisy you can just pick them up again. All right, so let's see. So the situation is I have to get out of this location. Um, I, have I, can to just, get I can just discard top five cards in my deck. Yeah, it, this doesn't have, because I don't think this has the instant kill one, does it? Oh, uh, uh, Beyond the Veil? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I what, Which set is it? I, the, the Beyond is in this. It might be in here. Uh, <laughs> well, I mean, I did look. That's I, okay. I, I have I have to die existence, so you know, we'll just oh, no, save, save it for that if I draw it. <laughs> there's definitely a beyond the veil in this. Yeah. <laughs> um. All right. So I guess I'm just gonna try to move out of here, and I'll just test this and see what happens. I don't I don't think I want to commit anything. Are any of these like super horrible? If I fail, <laughs> if I fail to squid, you take one horror. Um. <laughs> Cause you're daisy walker uh that's very funny all right so i'm going to test i drew the skull which is a zero right now right yeah um, yeah i have so, no books so i i actually pass because i have plus one from holy rosary so is that four so that means this gets discarded great not really not what i was expecting to happen all right and then i so i move here that's my first action and then I'm going to shrivel your guy. So I'm at a four versus a two right now. Um, I could commit something, or I could just, or I can engage it first and attack it. I guess. Um, Wait, we totally could have just like, because we all had, we both had pops. We could have just like parlayed this thing. Just like, <laughs> uh. I mean, even with the pops, uh, that would put us at, that would put you at like a thirteen versus eighteen. Or eight. Um, well, my, my thought is like, are we, we? You might be able to mill your deck. Uh, I don't know how good, how good your draw is, but I was thinking your deck would get milled and you get the pops back, and then then you maybe only need like a couple books out or something. Okay. Yeah, that's true. Unless I get. Uh... Oh, I, that's why we have to have denies. Don't yeah. don't lose any more denies. All right. Cool. Um, you went? Uh, no, I, I only moved. I was deciding if I wanted to commit something or not to you. Uh, it's uh, I mean, I, I pass. Uh, there's a couple curses in there, and I fail on four other tokens. Uh, yeah, I might as well commit something. I'll commit guts to draw cards. Um, I have to deal with this thing at some point, so it's. I, need, I think I need the. I need Kemp to be able to commit cards. All right. So I'm at four above. Oh, great. All right. Uh, so this is dead. Thank you. We got one action left. Um, it's the enemy situation. So this is going to move on to us unless you teleport away somewhere. I think I will. So I'm just going to try to pick up the two clue, do the daisy thing, and then teleport. Yeah. Uh, just keep in mind if you don't move after you teleport, this will move on to you. Oh, true. Closest. Um, I mean, I, uh, like, I mean, I wait. This one's not a hunter, though. Oh, it's not. Hmm. Okay. All right. That's great. I thought I just assume. I just. I kind of just assume any enemy I evade is always going to be a hunter enemy. Um, yeah. No, we just never go to the quad. Well, I mean, I mean, you might have to. I'm. I'm gonna have to go deal with it eventually. But uh, for now, I'll hang out over here. All right. In that case, I think I will just gain the money. Uh, Unless you yeah. want to pick up a clue so that I don't have to, Ooh, like if yeah, I fail one. That's, that's true. I can just investigate. I am. I am still Daisy. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm at, yeah. Actually, you're right. I should just investigate. Uh, so five versus two. Uh, I won't commit anything. 
Alright, great. I got a clue. Okay. Yeah, because I mean, if you can get the, if you can get some number of the clues, that'd be pretty great. Um, yeah. Um, oh, did I use right. the Necronomicon this turn? I don't remember. I don't think uh, so. Because I drew the Necronomicon like turn one or turn two. So, uh, well, I don't have any other book cut out. I'll use it. Take it over. Get rid of this. Oh my goodness. Okay. All right. Um, I'm going to. Are, are you all set? I am all done. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna investigate. Uh, that is draw another one. Yep. Oof. I don't know. Just go to the top two cards of your deck. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. Oh no. Oh no. no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh man. Uh, Do you have it in oh. I don't know, man. All right. Well, try again. Let's do it again. Oh god. Oh, what am I at? Uh, three. All right, we got it. Yeah. See, curse tokens don't matter. I'm yeah, that, you didn't take it that curse token. Yeah. Well, I was going to use the extra action to logical reason you, but I don't have an extra action anymore. So, sorry. Uh, well, you um, could pick up. You could pick up the book before you leave, though. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna All right. spend one clue. All right, and I'll spend mine. And then this goes into my deck. Yeah. Oh man, that makes the discard effects more annoying for you too, because it might discard your yeah. tomes. That means I just uh, have to draw the elder sign, which I. And yeah. then I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to the student union. Uh, okay. Even at this late hour, you can hear a muffled clatter from inside the student union. Perhaps one of the students will know where Professor Rice is. Uh, put aside the dormitories, heal damage and a horror here, and the okay. shroud is one. And there are two clues. All right. Cool. All right. So, uh, enemy phase. This guy's gonna move back into the middle. That dude's just chilling there, and then upkeep. Oh, that's an attack attack card. All right. Um. So doom happens. We're at four out of twelve, and encounter card for Harrison. That's five for each point you fail by discard the top card of your deck. Gross. I don't. I only have thirteen cards, and there's two books in there, including the Necronomicon. So. I don't want to fail this. Huh. Um, and I only have a shroud of. I only have one. To pop it. Yeah. Gross. I mean, I feel like you're gonna fail this unless you like commit a lot of cards. Uh, I mean, I will. I will. Like, but like, like I think I just... you, if your deck gets milled, it's kind of fine as long as you don't have the from the beyond or whatever. Um, oh yeah. I'm... Maybe we should just go hard on on milling it, and then, yeah, I'm just gonna go for it. Yeah. So it's five to one. Oh God. So minus seven cards. Uh, well, this you 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 failed by four, right? Because this is a total of zero. E. Yeah. So it's minus six cards, because two for the cultists, four for the visions. One, two, oh. uh, yeah, four, five. Oh, uh. oh, 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 that's the good one. Uh, yeah. Uh, all right. Well, at least it, at but, least it's in your discard pile, so if you can destroy Elder Sign, you can pull yeah, it back. True. But all that right. does mean the Necronomicon's in there too. Oof. All right. Well. Well, the Necronomicon's a tome, right? So. Yeah, at least counts. Yeah. Oh, I also got this. Um, do I care about failing this though? I'll be sad if like both my opals get discarded. Uh, I kind of like this scenario. It's cool. I don't really want to commit any of these cards because I want the will symbols to fight stuff in the very near future. I think so. Um, yeah, I'll just test it. Oh no, the curse token did make me fail. Wait, <laughs> did it? With the one? Yeah, because I would because the, the test was a five. I was testing it uh four versus five, oh. so I could only pass on the plus one. Well, I didn't yeah, whatever. Of... whatever, I just discard two cards. No no the ward. Uh, it's 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 okay, it's not like there's ancient evils. Alright. 
Uh, <laughs> all right, so all done. Um, with the middle space. Yeah, uh, I'm probably just gonna like move to to. Oops, why is my pinging not working? Move to here, and maybe set up a little bit because I'm not ready to go kill this thing. Can you pick uh, up the I... student union? It's like floating in the sky. Okay, thank you. It's fixed. Yeah, I must have locked it. It's a who's student or something. Um. Yeah, so I'm gonna move. Unless you think you're gonna do something, someone's gonna get an enemy on you. I can't help you anyway. There's a guy in the way, so <laughs> I will. Or actually, I, I guess I could also get these clues. I guess that's a thing I can do. Um, if you get the clues, you have to be with me uh, uh, to I, do this. I think I need to focus on enemies. I think you can just teleport around and pick up clues. Do I have to be yeah. with you to? If you are Daisy Walker, investigators at your location spend. Okay, yeah. So. So I kind of don't want you to, unless you're going to be on top of me, I don't want you to pick up clues. Yeah, because you're moment. teleporting around everywhere, so. All right, uh, I will move here, and I'm going to, um, I guess I want to get towards being set up. So I'm going to, uh, what do I have to do to kill stuff? So that, I need to just shrivel it twice. Oh, I forgot to spend my shriveling charge when I shrivel that other thing. Uh, all right, I'm going to play Abigail to get her out oh sorry i'm gonna gain a money then play abigail and yeah that's it all right you're up um i'm just gonna get clues so one to five so i don't need to do anything about yeah. these no we already got rid of the curse token so nice right. one uh and wow oh, wow oh, 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 oh. wow yeah. <laughs> Oh man, uh, amazing! <laughs> cool. Yeah, I'm definitely picking up the prophecy. All right. So um, and you get those two clues. So I'm just gonna pick up. Um, you know, I whenever I'm Daisy, I'm like, I don't really care. I never draw. I never draw elder signs. Um, for the Necronomicon, and I've yeah. done it like three times. Ugh, the trash isn't work. Um, uh, okay. So I have to move. So I'm going to pick up this book. Is my trash can not working? I don't know. <laughs> I just deleted that. <laughs> you know. I'm going to move. There we go. All right. Uh, all right. So flip that oh. over. Dormitories. If investigators spent... Oh, no. It's fine. Yeah, so we, yeah, we ignore the objective. So. But it's another bunch of clues. Very easy clues. So, like, like yeah, like you don't need to get the clues from everywhere. You just need to get enough clues to pick up tomes. So... Yeah, like that's great. Um, yeah, yeah, there's, there's, cause we, there's yeah, two for... yeah, our goal is for you to get tomes out um, so that you can do this will test. Because your will, your will gets boosted for every tome you have, right? That's Daisy's <laughs> um, ability. Oh, and your sanity goes up too? Interesting. Um, oh, and so, your, abili your ability is like a one giant tome action, right? Yeah, it wants per, yeah. yeah. Um, so basically, with the parlay, it's basically uh, plus three because it's minus two difficulty for each tome, and then it's plus one will for for each tome you have. So. Uh yeah, kind of yeah. It's yeah. It's, so like, if you can get like, if you get like four tomes out, that puts you at a five, and it puts the parlay at a ten. And maybe look like, like a couple cards you can you can buy past that pretty easily and then like if you yeah. get like five or six tomes out then it's definitely like pretty easy to do a big commit yeah because right now i have one two three four i have four slots with dr armitage uh yeah plus plus you and, might draw your bag eventually and ne necronom oh no necronomicon does use a slot yep. oh uh you got uh oh no there was no clues here god dang it <laughs> oh wait and shop Schaffner's doesn't doesn't use a use does it use a hand slot? No, that's true. And the, does the scroll? Yeah, the scroll does. So, um, I got excited for a second. I thought you could actually use the hiking boots, but there were no clues in this location. <laughs> so, before uh, when, when you discovered the last clue, so oh, um, with at least one clue. Yeah. Oh, yeah. because it's not. Oh no no, no no or two in a connecting unrevealed location. Oh, um, yeah. so then I will do that. Um, I so will yeah. move. 
Then I'll put the prophecy out, huh? Yeah, it seems good. And just have to decide what what the locus is, I guess. Uh, where will I never go back? The facility offices? Faculty offices? Yeah. I feel like you might go back to the faculty offices at some point. I, uh, I would say, like, the science building, whenever we're going to go back to. Oh, yeah, 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 true, true, true. Yeah, it's the science building. Because you don't care about the movement ability on it, right? No. No. Nah. I mean, there are better places to hide there, too. Yeah. Um. Yeah, it seems good. All right. Do we need to mark that somehow? I don't know. I'll make a very tiny secret token and put it on there in case we forget somehow. Uh, all right. So that was your old turn, right? And I went. So enemy phase. This is going to move towards you. And then upkeep. Um, cool. And... Five doom out of twelve, still two ancient evils in there, <laughs> and then uh, encounter card for you. Yeah. Oh wait, I don't care. I ignore attacks of opportunity. <laughs> I mean, I don't. I don't not care, but. Well, I mean, you could you could run it back. You could run it. You could teleport over to me at the end of your turn, and uh, then I could kill it <laughs> on my turn. Sure. Sure. Um, all right. Uh, I got ancient yeah. rules and I don't have a ward. Uh, very sad. All right. So six out of twelve. All right. Look, there's a ward on top of my discard pile. Uh. All right. So. Yeah, I mean, if you if you because you get ignore attacks opportunities. So if you want to like get a bunch of clues and then teleport back over to me, I can kill it on my turn. Yeah, and actually. I'm probably going to go back to the dormitory, so I'm going to pick up these clues, come back, and then plan on going back to the dormitory anyways um, to pick up the rest. So Yeah, that seems fine. So one to, one to six? Yeah. I pass. All right. And one to one, uh, minus one. Yeah, so I pass. So I just pick up two clues. Um, I don't... Should I pick up the book here, or should I pick it up at the administ at this administration building? I'm gonna pick it up at the administration building. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm sort of hoping you'll grab these clues. Uh, oh, do I have crack the case? Oh, I don't. Never mind. I don't care. I do have I do have crack. <laughs> so if you hang out here, then, or if you pick up the clues, uh, <laughs> that's that's funny. Uh, I mean, I am still Daisy. I guess I could pick them. <laughs> Probably pick them up. Uh. So yeah, I'll take so this book up. Sweet. All right. And you're spending your clues. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh. I'm just deleting them. All right. Cool. All right. So then I will attack your guy. Um. I will commit. Uh. I was, I'm just gonna commit rosary. Um. Be at three above. Wow. I. I Draw on the plus one or not. I'm sure when, when it, we really need it, it won't happen. But all right, uh, and I have two actions left. Originally, I was going to move into the middle and try to fight the observer, but um, now you're now key. now you're hanging out here, so I don't really need to do that right now. So uh, I feel like I should do more setup. Um, I'm going to draw a card. That's not very useful. Extra Abigail is not useful. All right, I guess I'll investigate once if that's helpful. Oh no, it's not because you you don't want me to get the clues, right? I don't know. No, I think that's okay. If you can get both of them, I'll crack. I'll crack the case and give you all the money. I mean, I do want money, but if I if I get the clues, then I can't spend them to help you get a book probably until maybe the very end, like if we meet up at the library or something. But aren't I planning on getting all of the book clues at the dormitory? If I get one, two, three, four, five, six, there's one, two, three, four. Yeah, I mean, you might not need these clues um, if that's what you're getting at. Um, all right, I'll, I'm going to investigate. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to commit um, Abigail, so I'm at two above, um, just because I need to get rid of a card anyway. So, and all right, got a clue. Great. If you do yeah. it again, I'll, I'll commit a cryptic writings to you. Uh, I am out of actions because I, oh. I I attacked, I drew a card, 
and then I okay. think good. So like next okay. turn I could next turn I could maybe I go first and grab the last clue or something. Well, oh, we'll that'd just, be cool. We'll see where we'll we're see. at. All right. So this moves up here, and we do upkeep, and uh, ah, wait, cool. I got a tome out. <laughs> You did get a tome out, but it, it, well, it turns off your amazing elder sign that you've drawn three times and actually triggered once. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, you're kind of motivated to keep that out because it is a tome. So, yeah. All right, and then uh, doom happens. We got five turns left, maybe less because there's still one more shields. All right. Oh God. Oh boy, there it is. I hope, yeah. you have a, I hope you have a die existence. Uh, and then it surges. So you gotta draw again. Uh, oh, gross. Gross. Uh, maybe, I, maybe I can get rid of that if I go first somehow. Um, uh, yeah, what's... Uh, oh, let me do my car card before we evaluate your, your life. Uh, locked door. That's gonna go on the dormitories. That's awkward. Yeah. All right. So, um, yeah. Do you have it in existence in your top seven cards, or are they both in the trash? Uh, no. I think I only trashed one. So as long as it doesn't get trashed, <laughs> you can survive down the veil. But yeah. if it does get trashed, then uh. Well, maybe I should. Well, I have Jeremiah. Oh. I should just play play Jeremiah. All right. Yeah. Then. Oh yeah. You you can play Jeremiah, and is your deck evens or odds? Evens. Yeah, and you'll you'll probably draw the the deny from that. So. Well, but uh, I want to go before you, right? Yeah. Because you're gonna move, I assume. Oh, oh no! Yeah. I want to. I want to get rid of the barrier for you. I think. So, okay. Um. But I wanted to get the clue and get the crack the case too. So let me okay. let me ca let me calculate. Uh. Oh, that'd be perfect. I don't have a way to deal four damage, which is very awkward because I wanted to go fight the Yithian observer, but I guess I can just stand there and evade him and fight him next turn. All right. So I will try to investigate. Um, I don't want to commit to that. Uh, did you say you had something to commit to investigate? Yeah. Uh, where did it go? Cryptic writings. You got two books. All right. Then I'll just test it. That's a plus three. Ah. Uh, no, I didn't. I didn't fail because you gave me the cryptic writings. Oh. So okay. I was okay. at seven. <laughs> so versus four. So I get this clue. And uh, then. Crack the case. And you don't need any of the money? No, oh, I'm good. You're, roll, you're rolling in it. Um, all right, and then... Uh, all right, so then I will just try to do the barrier. I'll try to move and do the barrier. I'm trying to move into the middle, I think. Yeah. Um, and so it's difficulty four test. And I'm at a through four. Do I care if five cards get discarded? I don't really, because I have a deny. And you know, I'll be sad if Obol gets discarded, uh, obviously. But um, so I don't really want to commit anything. Actually, I guess. Uh, oh no, I'm going to use the promise of power on the evade. I think. What does this do? Just come on, kind of random card from your hand. It's one damage, it? one horror. I'm just, I'm deciding if I want to let this thing AO hit me during enemy phase or not, um, yeah. or just like work on killing it. Technically, um, I could, uh, I can survive the uh, beyond the veil once Jeremy's out. <laughs> I'll be at one health. I'm All not right. going to do that. I decide what I'm going to do. I'm going to, I'm going to uncage one of these spells. Um, so oh, I have cool. it out. So I forgot to spend the shriveling charge again on the last thing. Um, I guess the question is, do I want to have shriveling out, which might deal me horror, or do I want to have is there a flame out, which might deal me damage? I guess I still want horror because I can I can soak some of it still. All right, and so that costs me zero because of Incage of Soul. 
Great. And now I'm going to try to move, and I'm not going to commit anything. Um, and see what happens. So minus one. All right. So I fail the test. So I will discard the top five cards in my deck. No oval. Oh, okay. Well, that was terrible. All right. So. I discarded both opals. Uh, all right, and then oh, does this not go away? It only goes away if I'm successful. Oh well, I want no, to get rid. It, it goes away if you're successful. Well, it wasn't successful oh, it? though. Oh, um, if, if you weren't. Yeah. I, I thought it, I thought it went away regardless. Like if you fail, you uh, I should not have discarded five cards because <laughs> I thought it was gonna poof it away for you. I definitely have to use Jeremiah then, because if I I can't yeah, build myself. Yeah, just you like play Jeremiah, use him, and then then you can still move and you just discard two cards or whatever if you have deny. So, yeah. right, well, I'm over here now, so um, this is gonna be on me, and I'll fight it next turn. All right, I am all done. Okay. Um, this is my friend Jeremiah. I draw five cards. Draw each card with the cost that matches. I'm going to say even. All right. One. Two. Three. Ooh. Four. Five. Uh, Wait, do I do weaknesses too or no? Uh, the weakness has no cost. It's not even rod, so it just gets shoveled okay. back in. Well, it doesn't okay. get discarded. It gets shoveled oh, back gross. in because you, you were just revealing them. So. Okay. But but if for some reason you had to discard three cards, a bunch of cards from the top of your deck for by because something happened, you know, uh <laughs> it would uh it would get discarded that weakness. So cool. Um well speaking of which, I think I'm just going to go now I'm wondering about the dormitories, because like I don't know, I don't like I would have to pop it to even try the Locked yeah, door. I mean, if you pop it, what would you be at? Six? I mean, that's like a reasonable... That's reasonable, six. Yeah. Uh, yeah, actually, it would be good if... Uh, no, because I'd be milled, so I wouldn't see the promise of power again. Um, that one, at uh, least. All right, well, let's just do it. I mean, yeah, if you commit something to this test... Oh, no, anything you commit to this test will get... Will, no, it'd be in your yeah. discard pile. Yeah, but so yeah, so you have nine... to do this. You have to do this test before you move the will for, or when you when you when you try to move. All right, so I'm at two, or uh, three, and I do move, right? You well, you you do the test. If you succeed, you get to move still and and discard it. If you fail, you have to discard the top five cards of your deck or cancel yeah. the effects of the move. Well, but, you, I but, will... you, but you can choose to discard the three. <laughs> Great. Oh no, I failed. Okay, so I do have to discard three, and I take ten damage. Oh my god. One. Yeah. Two. So oh, the bag. Yeah, you don't need the bag yet. All right. So yeah, you take ten damage. Does it say the top? Okay, so the other two, the other it, two are it, fine. It does not. Yeah, your deck does not shuffle yet because it. You, your deck only shuffles when you have to draw a card. Oh, so I don't take the whore yet. Um, All right, so that that means like your deny that you're probably playing, I assume, uh, is is in your discard pile. With all is... this stuff. Okay, cool. Because you yeah you haven't you haven't you haven't your stuff all this your discard pile still has all these cards in it. It won't it won't you, they go away when you oh. draw something. Okay, so this looks like this. Yeah. Okay. And, that, and, and this, yeah. Goes, this goes away. Right? Goodbye. So I moved. So I'm guessing yep. going to the and and that means this stays here, so we probably just never go back there. <laughs> we just um, never return. We don't have a reason to go back there anyway. So, all right, cool. Uh, I have no clues. That was my second action. No, first action. Uh, it was your second action. You played Jeremy. Oh, true. My second so you, action. So you have one action left. And I crack the door down. Hopefully, promise of power. Uh. So I do so feet. Add, add a curse token. I do feet. Oh yeah, because so you have you have plus one from the. Mm -hmm. 
So I'm at oh, seven so, yeah. to seven to four. Oh, uh, and you have both hiking boots. So you're at eight to four. Oh, true, true, true. Eight yeah, to four. Great. Nice. Oh, cool. All right. My lock door. I'm just gonna put it here. Cool. All right. Uh, scroll turn, right? Yep. All right. So this is gonna attack me during enemy phase. It does make me discard a card. Um. I don't know if I care about that. Do I care too much about that? I don't think I care enough about that to use Deny Existence. So I'm going to shuffle my cards and discard the rightmost one. Uh, Promise of Power. Could have been worse. All right. Um, and then upkeep. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, that's fine. I can shuffle him, too. All right. Um, I drew, I drew the stubborn detective, mm. um, and then doom happens. We're at eight out of twelve, so we gotta probably have to start thinking about doing this. Oh, did I forget to move hit the namer? Yeah, I did. So it should be here. Well, okay, let's think about this. Uh, I do have access to four books right now, and right now I don't have any more slots than that. Uh, so that would put me at five. If I have five books out, and then the test would be. 4 minus 18 is 14. Yeah, if you have four books out, if you have four books out, then it's you're at five versus ten. So if we can commit stuff, then um two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, and Dane wants to remind you that Schofners does not take up an item a slot, so Oh cool. So maybe I can get one more book or something. So like that's a that's a book right there. Uh, keep in mind that the skull gets uh, increasingly worse for each tome you have out. Oh yeah, we're um, definitely gonna see that. So whenever we... <laughs> so like you don't necessarily want to like get them out too early. I guess you probably want to like play them the turn before we're gonna do the thing. I think. Yeah. So. All right, uh, but we have to do encounter cards still. So we need to do an encounter card. Oh, man, oh, no, we keep drawing any... those Damn those ladies. <laughs> All right. Um. Uh oh. <laughs> uh, okay. There, I mean, there's only one act and one agenda, so I'm just gonna, I don't. It doesn't matter what trying to put it on. Matter. Uh, well, I guess, eh, well, maybe there's something I forgot. Let's put it on. I guess let's put it on the act. Uh, okay. That's bad. Uh, yeah. Yep. Pretty pretty bad. So no um, more no more soak for anything. I mean, I'm still okay. I'm not like I have uh like four health and five sanity. Or four sanity, so and you're basically full, so and remember tomes also increase your sanity, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um Right. Um Uh did I draw it? Yeah, I drew it. So My turn is gonna, gonna be my school gonna be fighting stuff, so Yeah. Uh let me go first then. Okay. And also I don't really care about this thrall. Like I could just take the damage in horror for a little while. Like, uh, yeah. I mean, we we only have because we only have four turns left, right? So yeah, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just so going to. It it, it just, might I'm, it could attack you up to four times, which would put you very scary in the health range. But maybe I can. Yeah, but what happens. but I'm not taking I'm not taking attacks of opportunity. So right, yeah, makes so. sense. All right, why don't okay. you why don't you go first, Co? All right, so do. the shot is one. So I'm just gonna. Oh, that was cool. No oh, rip. Um. That does change things though because uh, I'm not going to be able to teleport away mm. if I pick up these clues. Uh, well, I cannot help you this turn because I got piled enemies on me. I think I'm just going to go to the humanities building, I guess. Yeah, I mean, you can get clues there and you can always teleport back to the dormitories. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, second action. One, two, three. At the end of your turn, if you're here, discard the top cards of your deck. Where X is the amount of horror on me, which is one right now. Uh, and I could also logical reasoning some of that. Um, okay. All right. Uh, and then that was my second action. Yes. Okay. So then I'll investigate. So it's. Anything. Five versus three, four, six versus three, seven versus three. Oh man. 
great. Oh, wow. damn it. <laughs> no, no, oh, no it's a failure. It's a failure. It's a failure, right? Oh, yeah, it is because of the Necronomicon. Ah. Uh, right, because it says it treats it as a. Yeah, darn. All right, well. Well, I don't pick up a clue. So double auto fail. All right, and then. So my turn. So I'm going to fight this stuff. So I have. I think. So I could just automatically kill. Yeah, so I think I want to use my blood right to draw three cards and just deal kill the detective and do one damage to the observer and then probably use a call evocation for the other attack. I'll have to discard oh, two other cards from my hand. Should have used the um Those encyclopedia cards. instead of the uh instead of the uh medical text. Uh yeah. Would have been good to boost it, but more we know. Oh, well. Uh, yeah, because we're going into these mostly blind, so. Um, but I guess we should assume that the scenario will specifically uh, annoy <laughs> this character, right? Because <laughs> it's designed for them. So, uh, like the Roland one annoyed Roland a lot, so. All right, um, so yeah, I'm going to play Blood Right. And because I have the upgraded Occult Lexicon, it is three. Um... Oh man, crack the cases. And another blood right. Hmm. Alright, that might change what I do here. So I, I don't have to discard those cards, right? I could discard. Yeah, any number of cards in my hand. So I will discard Zerf Flame and probably the book bag and maybe actually a cult evocation. Oh, I'm I had to discard my top card of my deck because of the yeah, it'll cost me one more card, but I really want that. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep the. I got one more blood, right? Yeah, I'm gonna keep the crack the cases and the. All right, so it cost me three money to do that. So that kills the detective, and it does one damage to the, one damage to this guy. And then I'm going to just do it again, because I don't really want to test against this guy. So I'll play another blood right. So I will draw three cards. And then I will discard three of those cards. Um, I'm going to discard the flame. I kind of want that, that theme. Because that makes my that makes it so I don't really need to commit on the shrivelings as much. I want the non existence in case I get the damage dealing one. Um, yeah, sure. Do it, do it. And I, I kind of also want the blood, right? So I guess I'm going to. Uh, I'll definitely get rid of one crack. The blood, right's really nice for dealing with these enemies. Um, am I going to get to play these cracks ever? Because I'm never. Am I going to be at a location, at your location again? I think maybe not. Uh, well, actually, I guess I'll. Um, I think I, I could move here. Uh, my next act, I have one action left. Ooh! Um, if you move there, you'll help. You can help kill the person. Oh, but I discard a lot of cards from my deck. <laughs> Is that good or bad for you? Because you, uh, do, you want uh, might want to discard it before you like the next. Like if you pull it beyond the veil right now. Yeah, I mean it, it would it would clear me. It means that uh, it means I could safely discard deny existence. I think instead of crack the case, um, because then I could end my turn there. I would discard five cards from the top of my deck, and then on during upkeep, I would draw and refresh my deck. Uh -huh. um, I also might request you logical reasoning me if you have an action to do so, uh, because I'll be at six four, which is getting a little scary. Although the, again, there's only there will only be three turns left, so maybe maybe it's not worth doing that. So all well, right, so yeah, you might you might like actually if we just stay here, then I won't have to like zip around, and I could just focus on just hanging out here. And then if you kill the namer of the dead, it'll go. It'll just appear at the library. Uh, yeah, what happened? It leaves the library when it dies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, how many tomes do, do you have available to get out? Like, do we need to be getting uh, right clues, or I should have, we be... Right now I have access to one, two, three, four. Are there any more and in the I, deck, or...? There... I don't... 
remember if there's any more in my deck, but I don't have any way to... I don't ha I have any way to have any extra hand slots right now. Oh, because you're... Well, but again, the the catalog doesn't take one up, so you can oh, get true, true, one true, true. Yeah. Alright, well, I, I think maybe we get at least one more. Um, I, and if I do find a second... Shockners. All right, I'm gonna go with this play and, and hope it doesn't backfire horribly. So I'm gonna I'm gonna discard uh, deny existence. So that, that cost me three money to do all that. So now the observer is dead. It goes in the victory display. Although there's another one in the encounter deck. Um, and then last action, I'm gonna move and stay on top of you. And I'm gonna hope next turn we can maybe blast all these clues and maybe I can crack the case. All right, but then I discard the top five cards in my deck. Uh, I don't remember what was left in my deck. I definitely still haven't got an actual tome out to use Abigail. <laughs> uh, oh, there's a ward in there. Yeah. Uh, what are my actual tomes? Do I, did I just end up with ovals? <laughs> Do you I have did. nothing? I have it. Yeah. yeah I, it's just ovals, I guess. I was relying on like getting an oval quick, I guess. Um, all right. So that, that, would, that would actually help me a lot if you got the old book of lore. In your oh yeah. Book. Yep. That would be good. Oh. All right. Um, um, all right, enemy phase. This moves in the middle, and we upkeep. I take a horror, um, and then and you t and this enemy attacked you during enemy phase. Um, does now, yeah, yeah, and and it's all direct, right? Yeah, it's all all direct. We got three turns left, so counter right. cards and an H evil still. There it is. <laughs> Do you have a ward? I do have a four ward, but I don't have any clues, so... Oh, rip. All right. <laughs> um, we have two turns. All right, two turns. All right. Uh, I got Beyond the Veil, uh, but it doesn't matter because I just uh, expertly build my deck. Whippoorwill. Ugh. Ben, that's bad. <laughs> well, I mean, I could just, like, taunt it and stab it or whatever. All right. Uh... All right, we so we just... got... So we got two just, turns. I'm wondering if I should just right like pull, pull pull these out and try to draw cards and then just have the next turn be have it get on top of me and oh just let it move on to us and do it next turn. Yeah, because if we only have two turns, there well, could be because you have no you have no more. So if you get four books out, you'll be at uh five versus ten i have a i have a promise of power so i could commit that to you and then you oh, can commit whatever will i be 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 uh i'd be at 16 with, so, with my promise of power yeah uh yeah um but there are t there will be two auto fails in the bag yeah. uh, and a curse at that point and whippoorwills if you don't kill them yeah i think we just focus on this because we don't have time to pick up clues and stuff like that yeah i don't i don't yeah i don't think you'll and you'd have to draw that other tome as well right yeah so i All think right. we we plan for it to move on to you so i should i should definitely kill the whip whirl off though so that's not giving us yeah. a minus one when um, do you want to just do that uh well, let me do i need to kill this off of you or can we just ignore uh, it? Because you'll you'll take two damage and two horror from because the enemy will move on to you too. Uh, which will put you at three. Do any kind of cards deal damage other than Beyond the Veil? Yeah, there was that that uh, there's that one that says uh, it increases uh, by. I mean, I'm eager for death, but that deals horror to you. Was that, I thought that one of them dealt damage if you fail. Maybe not. Um, maybe there's in a there's an, a similar card that's like the. Oh no 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 no! Yeah, I was thinking eager for death. It was e the reverse of what I thought. Yeah. Well, there's 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 a the opposite of that. But I don't think that's in this one. That's in a Island of Birds uh, scenario. Uh, in Circle Undone, what, I forget what it's called. Union Dissolution. Uh, well, I'm not. I'm not really worried about horror because I have eleven sanity at that okay. point. Um. Yeah. Yeah. I think you're fine. So. 
All right, I will, but I can't, so I won't kill your things, but I don't have enough money to, I'll just shrivel the bird. All right, so yeah, I'll, I'll taunt the bird and I will shrivel it. Um, and that puts me at a, I'm at a four versus, or three versus two. I guess I should commit something. Oh, or I could just blood write it. Oh, is Dane trying? Dane, are you? Oh, I see. Uh, Dane, Dane has forgotten about the light of Aforgomon uh, that makes it so all that soap is useless. So, which is understandable. It is up here. I mean, this art is kind of cool. I haven't looked at this that closely before. Yeah. Okay, I'm good there. Yeah. All right. Um. Yeah. So I. I kind of think I just want a blood right instead. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I, I will not, um, I will not engage it. So first action, I will play Blood Right. I will draw three cards. Uh, oh man, Obol. Does that help us somehow? Not sure. Uh, <laughs> um, I don't, I don't have both. Uh, well, it could help you draw more cards to commit or something. Um, oh, true. Yeah, that's probably going to be happening. Uh, especially if I get a Promise of Power. Um, so... That that so I'm gonna I'm gonna discard one card. Um, I don't know why uh, I'm a doggy on the stream. Like oh, I'm. Like your, your, uh, it looks like your video is off on my screen. Maybe uh, toggle it. But it's not off on. Yeah, just sometimes that bugs Discord bugs out. Turn it on and off. Uh, what is this OBS virtual camera? No. Let me let me turn my on off. Let me let me. Me. There we go. What okay. if I leave? No, okay. I fixed it. I fixed it. I don't know. Sometimes Discord like the video feed disconnects and you just, as with everything, you everybody turns it on and off and you know fixes it. <laughs> um, all right. So I discarded one card, steal one damage. Um, then that was my first action. Oh, oops, I didn't actually use a shrilling charge. Uh, then I will play the Obel. Um, I'm oh, sorry, I will gain a money, then I will play the Obel, I will then use uh, Abigail's ability to pick up a book, God dang it, tabletop simulator, um, and nice. um, then I will use Daisy's ability, finally, to, uh, other than to make herself take damage, I will use it to trigger the Obel, uh, I feel like it's better to trigger it on you twice. Um, and then yeah, you can... because you already have a promise of power, and you can yeah. only commit uh, one. What? What? Are any of your weaknesses gonna cripple you somehow if you draw them? Like you, Do you I have... have to draw them if? Oh right, it's a search, so you shouldn't be forced to do that. Alright, yeah. So I'm gonna use Obol on you, um, and I'm just gonna trigger it twice, right? So you can do do search the top three twice. All right. Well, I gotta. I'll pull out a deny. Shuffle it up, right? Yeah, and I think you just want will icons, basically, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, well. Nope. And, I mean, if there's no will icons, you can pick an asset that you can play at minus two cost, if that's better somehow. Oh. Do Aeon chart help? Move, evade, investigate. Not really. Uh... That's... I mean, it gives you it gives you an action that you could like do an investigate and if that helps oh somehow. you know you know what um let me think could will you be able to do that again next turn yes okay i will pull out a deduction okay uh, all right because then maybe i, I could I find see, it i think i see what you're doing here yeah all right seems good all right uh that was my turn so okay um then. All right. Well, I'll oh, definitely. Oh, pull and this whipple and this whipple is dead. Uh, Thank you. Right. Um, I'll definitely pull out a shock nurse, and I'll just pay for, uh, it with the medical text. Do you have any books or any things that you want to pay for? No. All right. So, um, let's see. There's nothing more productive that I could do except for just investigate and then with deduction and then put a book in there and then maybe I'll find a book, but then I'd have to put play it out. It's going to be kind of weird. 
Yeah, I mean, if you don't have any way to get more willpower, I would get the clues and get that other book in there. And just, because I'll open you twice, there's a chance you'll find it. Yeah. And you'll get to pay. You'll get to play it for basically for free. Oh, because oh, of, cool. of the deduction from mobile and your catalog. So yeah, true. Um, so then I will investigate with old, with the thing. Let's see. That is five, six, seven to three. Yeah, I'm not even gonna pump it. This one. So I get two clues. I'm just gonna throw them away. Just delete here. Put that in my deck. So that was play, play, uh, play, play, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm good. yeah, you play, play, investigate, right? And then now I have a Namer of the Dead on me. Well, did bop. you, uh, and you picked up the book, right? Yeah, cool. Yeah, bop, bop. All right, so then you get hit twice. Oh, you get hit, hit, hit by once. Each one of them once, right? Yeah. Yep. Yep. All right, and then uh, I don't have anything on me, so upkeep. Something else we forgot to move around, right? Yeah. Okay. All right, and then uh, doom. Our last turn. Last turn. And uh, uh, counter. Well, last turn, maybe, but. Uh... You know, we drew all three ancient evils. Okay. So, good. 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 Yeah. You know, yeah. Oh boy. Uh, oh. Should... oh no, that's really bad. Don't worry, I turned off my hand so you can't look at it. Uh, well, I'm definitely not, <laughs> I'm definitely not saying skill. Um, I guess the asset's got to go. Asset? Yeah. All right, correct. Good job. Yeah, skill, skill was obviously obviously the wrong wrong choice. Uh, yeah, I actually I... don't have any assets, so. Yeah, uh, and yeah, if I draw it, I will pick event. Oh man, I could draw two cards and place two Doom on the current agenda. Now I'll take two horror, which which does put me at one horror away from death. Um, but but you know that's probably, that's fine. All right, so you can give Abigail one of them. Nope, we got the light of uh light of whatever. <laughs> oh, that's yeah. true. So. <laughs> Looking really uh, desperate right now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know what? But if we uh, win, though, that means we played like very optimally because you know any any health or sanity left on the board is uh, is a resource. So does this use. mean? Does this mean you need to go first because so that you can oboe me? Yes, I do need to go before you. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm just gonna oboe you, right? So. What is there anything else? I'll probably just draw my own cards to maybe see if I can get another promise power or something. So yeah, I'll, but you could I'll, only. I'll oh, yeah. but if I fail the first time, then you could use a promise of power the second time. Exactly. Like if I'm, I'm kind of hoping we get enough enough cards so we have a second backup. Yeah. And just yeah, hope, yeah. hope, hope, and pray. All right. So I'll use Obol on you. So you okay. can search top uh... three and draw one. And remember, if it, and if it's a book, you can immediately play it at minus two cost. Oh yes, uh, it's not a book, but I got an arcane enlightenment. And, then... and, and actually, it, it, anything you draw, you can immediately play at minus two cost if if that's helpful. Uh, I think I want it for the icons. Yeah, yeah, I think you do too. So, all right, and then do it again. Uh, promise of power. All right, good, something. Almost as good as another tome. Uh, well. I guess I don't know. All right, so and then I guess I just draw cards because I don't I don't need to kill those things on you because you don't take AOs. No. Um, we just yeah, no, we just lose if we don't complete this anyway. So it's quite literally read or die. <laughs> yep. All right, so I will. What are my weaknesses? Are any of them crippling? <laughs> stubborn detective. Um, does that you even? Your... Yeah, that would be bad if I draw stubborn detective. Uh, Why? But I could, but I could shrivel him. Because he, he blinks our, our investigator cards, so that would blink your getting plus one will and sanity for each tome you control. Mm. Which, oh, that which, would be... which would be real bad. Um, um, well, now that I have a promise of power, maybe you don't. <laughs> uh, I mean, because I could draw two cards. I could draw and I can shrivel him, because I have actions to kill him. So oh, I think, I, oh, I, think I draw. He's only one in 
24 cards. So I will draw twice. Uh, do I draw one more time? Do you have a short... <laughs> you have a sh no, because then you'd be on your own. You wouldn't be able to get my card commits. Yeah. Um, I don't know. It builds up the tension a little bit, though. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna draw one more time. All right, I did not. I did not draw him. So, uh, all right, your turn. Um. Okay. Uh, it's my turn. So, right now, what is the test at? The test is at fourteen. Uh, it's minus two difficulty for each tome, so it's a uh, ten. Ten. Because you have four and, tomes. Well, it's ten, and I have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14. I have 14 icons to go to, and I have... So we need to commit... We need to commit at least 9 each time, I think. Uh, yeah, because what's I do, the worst? I do, I do, well, what's I mean, the, wor the worst stuff is Curse Token nice. into a minus 4, because the Skulls are minus 4s. And there's currently one Curse Token, but there'll be more once we do Promise of Powers. So... <laughs> I think... well, let's do let's do the worst case scenario. What's the worst case scenario? Uh, without without the curse tokens considered in it. Minus four. So we want to we want to get you up to I think a fourteen. To oh. so so you want to get plus nine to what you we need to commit nine symbols. All right. So let's go without the promises of powers if possible. Oh. Y y so I have one, two, three, four, uh, five, yeah, six, I, seven, eight. I have a promise nine. or a guts slash unexpected courage. No, I'll do nine. I'll do nine without any promises of power. All right. Well, uh, I mean, I should still commit one thing to you, and you can save the other cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. How many icons could you give me? I, I can give you two without the promise. So do you. All right. Want... Oh, yeah. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so we're at nine. So nine to my five. Nine plus five is fourteen. So we're at fourteen to what? Ten. Fourteen versus ten. All right. All right. Ooh. No. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> uh, all right. Well, we get another try. Uh... <laughs> oh man. Uh, that could uh, uh, All right. Um, yeah. So. Um... Do you need promise of power from me, or do you need, just need? Or let me know. Let me know what you can get up to. Oh, okay, man. so I'm at. <laughs> um, so I'm at. Uh, so I need to add nine, right? So I'm at four, five, six. I can get to six. Uh, you can only add six. So I guess yeah. I also promise a power then. I guess. So we add two so, curses. So what? So that that'll put you at. Uh, what is this going to you? Oh, no, this is giving you seven, right? Seven. Uh, yeah, sorry. So I'm giving you plus 11. So okay. that means you'll be six above the test. So let me add the two curses. All right. This is actually just literally it, right? Yeah, this is like... it. Well, I mean, I mean, yeah, because you can't possibly pass another one, I don't think. So, all right. Uh... All right, we got it. All right. <laughs> so, that was right. scary. Um, all right, so advance the act. Hooray. All right. Um, that was tense. Yeah. Um, so you stand in the restricted section of the Orn Library. Uh-oh. Were we supposed to do that at the Orn Library? Oh, uh, were we? Mm, no. No, we weren't. Uh, okay. Yeah, just if you're Daisy Luxury and you control four, uh oh, if you control at least four non weakness tome assets, oh, oh no, we cheated. Uh, I never ran into it. I didn't even realize you couldn't. Oh man, right, well, that's very sad. I don't know, what do you want to do? You want me to read the victory text or do you want to consider this a loss because we <laughs> missed that part? We already have an asterisk in this because because we're doing double daisy. Uh, I mean, yeah. We didn't. Really. I mean, I think that we would have played differently if 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 I knew. Yeah, I think that we, we, we get four four tones. I I wouldn't even have the Necronomicon now. 
Yeah, I mean, you would have trashed it, right? There's no reason to keep it, uh, mm. which which means, uh, and then you would have had to have at least four. I don't know. Yeah, we would have played differently, I guess. Uh, all right, I never saw that. I'm gonna read this. You stand in the restricted section of the one library, surrounded by volumes of ancient uh, heretical text. Uh, heretical texts in the incantations you have found may prove to be enough to dispel the entity perhaps bind it back within an economic con from whence it came your voice rises to a crescendo as you repeat the words shadows crawl across the room the walls and ceiling bend pages flutter in the tumultuous gale every fiber of your of your hair is whisked into the air all swept away when the ensuing in the ensuing chaos like a wet paintbrush kissing the canvas of reality Ooh. Oh, i just realized this was over here uh, all right so Resolution one, definitely, completely, legally. All right. Uh, we, uh, when you wake, the floor of the library is a mess of scattered paper and torn books. Necronagon lies in front of you. Its metal clasp ceiling it shut once more. Hopefully, whatever presence had been unleashed is safely stored within. But you can't risk the Grimoire staying here. It is far too dangerous to be left alone. Your stuff, you stuff the tome into your tote bag, knowing only you can keep it safe or keep others safe from it. All right, so we would have gotten victory for how many tomes you have in play. Um, oh no, sorry, you would have gotten victory uh, for each vict card of victory display or the number of tomes you have. Everyone else gets the regular victory. And you would have gotten to upgrade your tote bag. Um, and the weakness too? Uh, no, the weakness would not get upgraded because we got the good ending. If, if we got the bad uh, ending, which uh, we did in a time where we read the card correctly, uh <laughs> that, that yeah. you would then you would have got to just the upgraded weakness have um, you seen the have you seen the upgraded uh necronomicon it's so mean it's, is, it's, it, it's just so much worse right where is it on the board it's on the board here somewhere it's uh instead of the instead of it being the elder sign it's the uh it's skulls. oh it's every it's no, oh, it's no, no cultist, well... cultist tablet and yeah well, it you treat it as all three at once, right? That in some cases that could be not as bad as an auto fail. Wait, like you, because it could be the black cat in in a. Yeah, like here, here it is. I pulled it out. Um, I mean, like it's the black cat ability in uh, what's it called, right? Well, the black in, cat lets you like cancel. Yeah, I mean, if you also had the black cat, that'd be great to. Oh no, no, no! I mean, I mean, because um, one of the. Sp the tokens is like plus one and then oh, it's yeah. a good um but also ritual candles is plus one each that's plus three <laughs> well that, that probably just cancels out a little bit of what the penalties are but like i mean it's not if if one if, if these tokens are not auto fails then theoretically that means uh in order to protect yourself against an elder sign becoming those you could just commit a little bit more maybe you know yeah true um uh, uh, what, what would you think of this scenario? I think it was cool. Um, I think that without like prophecy, would have probably been way worse. Um, and Jazz this... Mulligan was Jazz Mulligan was really good. Yeah, he seemed like pretty like because with him you can basically you basically kited this thing the whole game. Um, mm -hmm. Like I never needed to kill it. Uh, I was just kind of running around trying to kill monsters awkwardly uh, as a seeker, which I guess kind of worked. Um, yeah i mean i wouldn't try to do it in a uh probably an actual campaign but you know <laughs> as a one-off it was it was it kind of worked yeah um uh it was really too bad about the uh about the um uh, the geared up thing yeah that would have been fun to like just play that and get like a whole bunch of assets out immediately uh you scroll see this <laughs> at the bottom um yeah and what else what else was this? There was another yeah. like weird, awkward thing that happened. Oh no! Mm -hmm. I know. I I feel like the ancient evils are not necessary in this one, MJ. I I feel like the the doom timer <laughs> was is was already pretty tight. Um, well, I mean, maybe if you're playing like not a weird double daisy team, maybe you know, uh, other people can help get clues or whatnot. I don't know. It's always always kind of hard to judge on one playthrough, but it was a little um, awkward that that you had to be in the same location as the daisy to use those clues it's not just like investigators yeah and like, like yeah as it means, a yeah it means you can't just rely on jazz i mean if you're doing this like solo as daisy um like you could get if you if you get prophecy for fauna i guess you have to 
successfully find it because it would have gotten stolen from you, right? Um, which was lucky you got that pretty early. Because then you could basically yeah. ignore the enemies and you can kind of kite the, the guy around. Yeah. And, and you, I could think just, that if... you could just load up on cards to like commit to the test or whatever. I don't know. Yeah. I think if you got the old Book of Lore out instead of like lost it, <laughs> them both at the same time, that it would have been a little different. Yeah. Um, it could have been better if I had a deck that like let me search a little bit more aggressively or, or draw a little bit more aggressively. I don't know. Um, but I mean, other, o overall, like, I like what it was doing. Like, the enemy was just like this ball of, like, doom heading towards you. And, like, with Jazz, I was able to uh, kind of spend one or two turns at, like, the dormitory or at the faculty office. Yeah. I also greatly appreciate the enemy is literally just a book, so I'm glad um, MJ is well aware of how dangerous books are and is yeah. using this as a warning to everybody. Um, just burn if, the if, whole if, university. Yeah, you know, too dangerous. So, uh, well, all right then. I think uh, I'll wrap it up. So thanks everyone that tuned in uh, or is watching this later. Uh, as always, remember to do all the various subscribes and, and likes and... Uh, you know, check out our Patreon and all that jazz. Links in the description or maybe as like a pop-up thingy. Uh, thanks for hanging out, everybody. Uh, and we'll uh, hope you... We'll need an ending. I don't have a sign-off. Dan, Dane's usually in charge of this. <laughs> well, what are, we, what, are we, what are we doing next next time? Is it oh, skids? Oh, what are we doing? Uh, yeah, we're doing skids next time, probably in like two weeks. Uh, I'll post a schedule at some point. Um, but yeah, next Friday, so... Uh, you can tune out and listen to us. I think there's a new episode of the podcast out. Uh, there was one out last week, and there should be one out next Thursday, uh, pre-recorded episodes. So, uh, yeah, uh, be be ready for those. We're talking about Edge of the Earth. So, oh, looking right. forward to that one. Yeah, thanks for thanks for joining everybody. Bye, Bye everybody. Thanks, Ben.